I'll have to come back and look in the window. Stay walking. Stay walking. Stay walking. See? Hey, there's the shark shack. Yeah, team is. Uh oh. What'd you do here, team? Hey. Whenever I move in a little bit, that way we've got a walkway back there. Awesome. Okay, so this is the Seeley Hutchins building. This building, like a lot of these buildings down here, did in fact survive the 1900 storm. Most of what did survive the 1900 storm in Galveston is down here in the Strand. Like I said, we lost 87% of the uh, buildings on the island. Can we turn the flash off, please? Thanks so much. Now, if I could direct everybody's attention up to that second story window right above me. That's how high the water got up on this building during the 1900 storm. It got wow. up to that second story window. Probably one of the most famous stories to come out of the 1900 storm actually has a lot to do with that second story window. Basically what happened was we had a 27 foot wall of water come in and when that storm surge came in the water from the bay side of the island and the water from the ocean side of the island actually met the center of town the center of town at that point in time was only eight feet now as you can imagine if any human being got caught in that storm surge they were basically a lost cause but at one point in time a 19 year old school teacher named sarah erickson got caught in that storm surge but as she was getting swept past this building she was able to grab onto the facade of the building right there and then pull himself up onto the ledge right there and enter the building through the second story window. Once she entered the building, she noticed a large push broom propped up against the corner and she grabs that push broom and comes back out onto that ledge and pretty much any human being she sees getting swept past here, uh, yes. she sticks that push broom out, tries to catch them yeah. and pull them through that window to safety. She actually did this all night during the 1900 storm. And she did pull quite a few people through that window. Unfortunately, most of the people she pulled through that window were dead already. The chance of survival outside during the 1900 storm were pretty much non-existent. So she did pull three people through that were alive, but an estimated 20 to 25 people that were dead. When she pulled somebody through and realized they were dead, she would drag their body to the opposite end of that room right there, prop it against the wall, come back out of that ledge and continue trying to save people. So, now one thing to keep in mind is the water line got up that high, but the wall of debris that was on top of it easily went higher than these buildings right here. You gotta keep in mind that by the end of that night, 87% of the gallons had different to do things. And unfortunately, when that water receded, it dropped all that debris right where it was, which for a lot of the people that had taken refuge in these buildings meant they were trapped. Because there was so much debris on the outside that people couldn't get out. That's what happened here in this building. Matter of fact, in this building, they were trapped in there for six days. And keep in mind, that's six days in the heat in South Texas with about 20 to 25 decomposing bodies in there. Not exactly an ideal situation to be stuck in. Now, by the time they got people out of this building, Unfortunately, Sarah Erickson, that school teacher, as well as anybody else who had taken refuge in this building was already dead due to respiratory illness from having to breathe in close quarters with all of the decomposing bodies. This actually became a thing in Galveston after the 1900 storm because it didn't really matter where you were on the island, you were around decomposing bodies. So a disease wave also took Galveston and also killed a lot of people. Now to this day, there's a second story staircase right up there, which I'm gonna show y'all here in just a second, to where people still to this day claim to catch, capture images of Sarah Erickson at the top of that staircase. Matter of fact, me and one of the other tour guides, Nikki, at one point in time, we had a big 60 person tour in there at one point, and somebody took a picture of the top of that staircase, brought it over to us, and it looked like a little white smudge, almost like a photo air. You can cross it, you're good until you zoomed in on it and you could clearly make out a face. Matter of fact, I have a picture that I'm gonna bring up because I took it right where y'all are standing right there. Very creepy and definitely worth showing. If y'all can make note of that street light right there, keep in mind that thing was not even lit in this picture. 
But I took a picture right here and it caught this crazy little face thing in there. Check it out. And by the way, that story I just told is not the creepiest thing to go down huh. this building, but the rest of that I'll talk about once we're inside. Okay, did you figure out? Did you figure out how to turn off your light? Captain Obvious. Take it. Do a burst picture. How do we do that? Get a bunch of people. Uh, 